morning my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Sunday and um, I'm sitting here in the parking lot of um, New Way Church. I just got out of the worship service. It was awesome. Um, now I'm going to go to my brother's church um, and join um, with our Cambodian Christian friends there and just fellowship with them and worship with them in a bit. But um, I wanted to get on here and share a word a rhema word, rhema word to me. Many of you have probably already gotten this a long time ago, but sometimes in certain areas, certain things, I'm a slow learner sometimes. And um, but God spoke this word to me. The Holy Spirit quickened my spirit um, with these uh, this scripture, and it, He said, um, "While men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears." while men slept and I knew it was the voice of the Lord and I turned around to look at my clock by my bed it was 552 which was probably really 551 because I set it up uh, a few seconds ahead <laughs> you're beautiful you're doing it. You're yeah. doing it. Yes. <laughs> yes thank you're you beautiful what's your name Marcelia, Marcelia. Yes. beautiful I'm Lakina you come here to the church? It's my third time. Oh, yeah, yes. mine too. Like, oh, okay. You know, yeah. I go different places was like Friday, but I like come here Sundays. Yeah, I, I love Pastor Richard Summerlin, uh, Summerlin um, his um, anointing, yeah. and I've been visiting over the months. Yeah. I just moved here two months ago. Me too. Uh, no, I'm me longer, but uh, uh -huh. December, uh -huh. you know. Well, Where you, you come from? Uh, South Carolina. Okay, yes, I, yes. I come from Miami area. Okay, yes. well, I'm glad you're here and I hope to see you again really soon. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can come for uh, the prayer night on Saturday. That's good, yes. I was thinking about that too. Because I'm into prayers, you know, to have the breakthrough in the yes, life. Yes. Yep, more prayers, more power. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And that's what the Lord's putting in my heart. It's like, you need to have a fervent prayer life you know because it can't be casual i know and it, you know it, it that is so important so significant that when i go i feel like sometimes i don't have enough time yeah and sometimes i feel like my voice doesn't come out so it's just my thought it's like something kind of like in the air of press absolutely us. but he doesn't want us to pray but i feel stronger when i'm some with someone uh -huh. and then with, if I'm with someone praying, then right. I go loud yes. and I go long. Yeah, yeah. But Good by alone, it's tough. Distractions, the lore, yeah. oppression, yeah, you name it. I know, we know. This is why I want to try for a Saturday. Yeah. Yes, well, I should too, and I hope to see you. Yeah. Well, God bless you and your family. Yeah, Gorgeous thank children. Yeah, thank you. Have a good you weekend. Don't have I have three boys, 18, he's almost 19, 18, 15, and 11, but my two oldest sons are in Columbia, South Carolina. My youngest one is here, and he's at, he's going to my brother's church, which is where I'm going now, Cambodian Christian Church, so, yeah. Oh, no, I, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. You're young. <laughs> I just look it. <laughs> yeah, you look young. Thank you. Yeah. Like that. yeah, the Lord preserve his people. <laughs> no, I tell him to preserve me because I feel like... <laughs> He's preserving you. Yeah. You're a natural beauty. You're gorgeous. Yeah, I know. I tell him, like, please preserve me because I still need to feel married. I'm not... I don't feel married. I need to feel married. Yeah. Like, when I'm... The feeling of being married, I want to look good for being married for the first time. So you're not married? I am. You're married, okay. I am, but I, I don't, you know, yeah. it's coming, you know, like. Intimacy. It's coming, yeah. you know, like, it, it's, it's happening. But I'm like, please keep me young. Because yeah. when things happen, I don't look like, oh, but now I'm fat, now I'm all the wrinkles. <laughs> It happens, but you know what? I, I kid you not, you know, I think the more we abide in the presence of the Lord, yeah. in the shelter of the Most High, you know, walking in His peace, yes. His light, His love, the happier that we are as we pour out our praises and thanksgiving to Him, 
we abide in his presence because he inhabits the praises of his people, right? And so where his glory is, there is his presence, his joy, his peace that keeps us young, that keeps us happy, that keeps us glowing, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? But when we're not in the presence of the Lord um, a lot, like most of our lives, it ages us. Yeah, because right? we are always like tormented. And yes. Like, and exactly. It, everything. Yeah. Exactly. And mean people. <laughs> uh, Things like that. Yeah. I'm glad that I see, like, I'm 42, but. I see people. I thought you were in your thirties. Wow, you look great. Yeah. I, I thank God that my deliverance and my healing came early. Because uh -huh. I see people 50, 60, they still like battling things yes. that I overcame like yes. young. Yes. Like I know. Thirties. Right. Forties. So I feel like a more. I, 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 I walked a long way and mm -hmm. got a lot of. Um, you cooperated with yeah. the Holy Spirit. Oh, I was doing the job. I was doing the work. See? Exactly. Yes, we can have as much Jesus as we want. And yeah. we want to walk in victory, as you know. Yeah. You know, then we cling and rely upon Him and abide in His presence. And we're going to win because, you know, He is the line of Judah and He lives in us. And we're going to overcome. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. 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 And, and we overcome so many little battles. Mm -hmm. But there's the big war, right? There's yeah. So little uh -huh. But something that he told today that was so shocking to me, so like, uh -huh. is, is to me. Because I think the battles I have been overcome, but then, like Peter, uh -huh. I, I'm walking on the water, uh -huh. but then I look at the situation yeah. and I drown. I was Every like, single one of I us. was drowning yesterday. Yeah. I was like, no, I need to go back on the water. Yeah, the sea of oppression. <laughs> and all the people do yeah. harm to you and they're like, this and that, yeah. but then it goes around all the pool, like finances, this, that. A lot that. of people, a lot of people are drowning because they're, they've taken their eyes off of Jesus yes. and onto their circumstances yes. and the winds and the waves are howling and they, they, they've they got their eyes focused on all those things and off of Christ. Even though they say they're, they're uh, right and they're good with God, yes. but their eyes, their heart is, um, is uh, divided. Their heart and their lives, their mind, their thoughts are um, not um, fixed yeah. on Christ. Yeah. You know, it has to be fixed on Christ or we're going to sink. Yeah. You know? And, 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 and I have a good walk. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, a good standard. But then, like, somebody attack you, the enemy attack you, and then you drop. Like, no, you, I got to be strong. Just for a moment, back. just for a moment, we stumble, yeah. but we get back up. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. God bless you, Marcella, right? Marcella. Lakina. All right. God bless you. Bye. Oops. Well, <laughs> there goes my video. Uh, she's precious, beautiful, beautiful Latino woman. Just met her just now. Um, <laughs> and uh, wow, that was awesome. I hope to see her again. But I just want to get on here and encourage myself and encourage, she was encouraging me to keep it up. Um, I wanted to encourage us, uh, the body of Christ, that we need to be vigilant, be sober minded, and keep our eyes um, on Jesus, fix on the word of God, uh, have a fervent, fervent prayer life. Because if we are spiritually asleep while men slept, and this is where the rhema word came in for me when the Holy Spirit spoke that into my spirit this morning at 5.51 a.m., 5.52 a.m., um, he's like, while men slept, the enemy came in and sowed tares. Um, the tares are the children of the devil, um, and the enemy sows them into churches, into our lives, into, uh, you know, relationship we can't avoid them um, we're gonna be um, sharing this world until the end of time when the angels comes and um, separate the weeps and the tears amen which I'm gonna get into the word um, on this in a bit but God the Spirit of God is quickening me and exhorting me um, to stay alert and awake and stay on the word I've met many, many uh, Christians, um, including my 11-year-old son this morning, you know, who thinks um, he's God. He's like, he, he feels like, Mom, 
I know how to pray, okay? Like he's done this um, for like six, seven, well, he's 11, so he's been doing it for like 10, no, nine years of his life, you know, learning how to pray, pray every day, you know, with me and at his school when he was attending Christian schools and all that. So he feels that, um, mom, I got this. I know how to pray. So it's like, it's going in one ear and out the other. Um, I said, right now, son, we have a lot to learn and we will continue to have lots to learn. Do not have an unteachable spirit, okay? There's always something new to learn, especially about God. We're supposed to learn, grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ every day. So that was a conversation um, to my brother's house this morning. But um has nothing to do with this video. But I just wanna encourage you guys to stay alert, stay awake. Do not have an unteachable spirit where you feel like you already know the word. Um, because if you have that spirit, if you have that view, then um, I hate to say it, but that is pride, that's arrogant, that's ignorant, and um, none of us know all this. Even though I've read, you know, the New Testament five, six times, uh, thoroughly five times, and still working on it till the day Jesus comes, uh, thoroughly, line by line, word by word, um, and the Old Testament, I read it thoroughly one time, because I need to go back and do that over and over again, but I haven't been. So um, there's always something new that the Holy Spirit will reveal in his word that transforms our lives, amen? Just like this morning when he said, uh, when he spoke while men slept, all this time before, I thought he was uh, saying that while we're sleeping, you know, physically sleeping, going to bed at night, the enemy comes in while we're sleeping to do his work, which he does. However, it's more than that. While men slept, while we are asleep, we're not studying the word of God. We're not, we don't have a fervent prayer life where we're continually uh, worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth and seeking God and worshiping God like Daniel uh, bowed down to the Lord three times a day and worship God. King David worship God seven times a day. When we do not have a fervent, fervent, I can't say that word, prayer life and we ignore this word and we cast it to the side because we already know it, then um, the enemy uh, is going to come in and sow tears in our lives and reap havoc. So let me get to the word of God. Um, all right. First Peter, what chapter is this? Five, verse six through 11. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. When we humble ourselves, amen, and not think that we don't need the word of God and we know it all, there's nothing else to learn. When we humble ourselves in whatever areas the Holy Ghost shows us we need to, he will exalt us in due time, amen, hallelujah. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. A lot of people are going through a lot of things, whether it's financial, sickness, diseases, death, relationship, whatever it is, amen. We're all going through it around the world. But he says, we need to resist and be steadfast in the faith. Amen. And verse 10 says, but the God of all grace who hath called us in, unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. So we must be steadfast um, in our faith till the end because um, everybody's going through some types of tests, trials, tribulations. But we must not take our eyes off of Jesus, off of his word. Jesus is the word. Amen. And we must not stop praying. More uh, prayers, more power. Amen. A life without prayers is a life without power and victory. Now let me get to the scriptures on Matthew. I had it marked. Matthew. Okay. Bear with me, please. 
it is about the um, while men slept. All right. Okay, that is the wrong chapter. I think it's Matthew 13. Don't you hate it when you mark something and then you're flipping all over the place looking for it? No wonder, because it's blue. Bear with me, guys. I was distracted um, while I was talking to that beautiful, gorgeous woman of God a minute ago. All right. All right. Okay, here it is. I'm so sorry. All right. Matthew 13, verse 24, it says, Another parable put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. But while men slept, spiritually slept, not just physically, but spiritually slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. All right, now I'm going to interpret that through um, scriptures. Jesus said, he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man, Jesus. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, unrepented habitual sins. All right. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall be the righteous, then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father hallelujah who hath ears to hear let him hear amen so i believe the holy spirit is showing us that um many of us uh, this includes me i have uh fallen asleep spiritually in um some seasons of my life especially when i'm going through traumas and tragedies like divorce or, um, you know, when we go through any type of traumas or tragedies, death, diseases, sickness, uh, divorce, um, um, betrayals, whatever it is, pain comes in. Usually when you have pain, traumas, brokenness, there you'll also find vulnerability, uh, confusion, despair sorrow depression oppression like the enemy comes in like a flood to take advantage of our vulnerability and brokenness and if we're not careful if we're not spiritually awake and alert you know on this word clinging to jesus fixing our eyes on him the enemy the devil will so will send his children to come into our lives and we will be so confused that we will not um, be able to discern what is what until what the word says watch what is produced in our, their lives because God looks at the fruit of our lives amen whatever is in our heart that those fruits in our heart whether it be good or evil will come out of our lives so he wants us to uh, look at the fruits of our lives and their lives then you will know who are the wheat and who are the tares? Is it wheat or wheats? I don't know. Um, who are the children of God and who are the children of the evil one, the wicked one? So be alert, be awake, be vigilant. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Pray in the spirit, building ourselves up in our most holy faith. And stay in the word. Fix our eyes and set our face like a flint upon Jesus. Amen. So the truth, the way, and the life. When we know the truth, then we can um, easily detect a falsehood lies and deception we need to know who are the wheat and who are the tares amen and we need to surrender every areas of our lives i'm preaching to myself surrender every areas of my life my life to christ and continually ask him for wisdom and um revelation because he is faithful he is true he is just he is the god of truth he leads us on his path of righteousness for his name's sake. 
just as he gave me that rainbow word this morning it is his holy spirit leading us amen leading me a child of god amen on his path of righteousness for his name's sake because he's faithful like that until the end i love you guys i gotta go i gotta get to the other church and join my brothers sisters um and and son nephew and nieces so it's gonna be a beautiful day praise the lord amen he's worthy he is worthy thank you father thank you thank you thank you we love you we love you jesus we love you holy spirit baptize us afresh and anew today hallelujah thank you for revelation wisdom and understanding and knowledge in jesus name amen bless my brothers and sisters lord amen